Hello, Chao Peng and I would like to talk about building high efficient storage infrastructure for secure container on top of SDK. In this session, the container secure container mainly refers to kata containers. The main contents are about uh, several parts. The first part is the overview of container storage infrastructure and the secure container storage. Then is the in in introduction of SPDK vHost and uh, how to apply it to Kata. Uh, following is uh, to provide Docker volume from SPDK and, pro and provide RootFS service from SPDK. In the end is the progress, imitation, and our expectation. So what makes container to be the most valuable and popular technology? One of the factors I think is the innovative story usage. Containers are ephemeral in nature. They have a file system of their own. When container dies, the data stored locally in their file system is also gone. Image, images and containers are built up from a series of layers. When you create a new container, you add a new writable layer on top of the underlying layers. Our drivers use stackable image layers and the copy on write strategy. That means any modification are made to this copy of file and the container cannot see the read-only copy of the file that exists in the lower layer. So based on the specific storage requirement, uh, container storage infrastructure has several characteristics. The first one is layers storage. It is for root FIs. And the second is the square space. It is for ephemeral storage. In, and the last one is the persistent volume. It is for stateful containers, which will keep its data uh, alive during containers crash, that or deletion. For secure container, for general container, the storage infrastructure is built on top of container, uh, on top of kernel functionality. It is, uh, it is tightly coupled to the kernel of the host machine where the container is running. Storage driver in kernel, like AUFIs, device mapper, or relay FIs, are leveraged for root FIs handles the details about uh, stackable image layers and the copy on write strategy. By the mount mechanisms helps compile, uh, com combine the kinds of volumes and the root FIs be to, to be a consistent FS entry to the container. Secure container has one extra layer for isolation, for example, Kata container. It is based on that with VM. It has a virtualization layer. With this extra layer, container inside the VM cannot directly touch its storage resources. So what I will block is a convenient way for access within the virtual machine. What I will GP and what I will FS are, share, are share, shared file systems. And they are also what I will based device that will let virtual machine access the directory tree and the host. Kata containers, what have FS and what have GOT are used for share container directory volumes, scripts, configure maps, and other files. And the container root FS on the host with the guest. The other line are still kernel storage stack. The actual layer is a barrier for resources, as a result, as a result, they do not perform as well as local file systems and the local block devices. But uh, in another point of view, with the actual layer of isolation, the host kernel storage service can be decoupled. Okay, first then let's talk about the uh, SPDK. So. What's SPDK? SPDK is short for Storage Performance Developer Kit. And it is built of uh, several libraries. Uh, it is optimized for 
latest generation of CPU and NVMe SSDs, and it is totally open sourced with the BSD license. And you can review the SDB code in the GitHub and uh, some document via the sdb.io website. And the right column is the company that has uh, deployed SDB in their environment. So here we mainly talked about SDB. BTK vHost user solution. And uh, vHost user solution is mainly focused on the performance uh, uh, target. So here for SPD vHost user solution, it means we can use fewer costs for our processing, which can achieve the maximum LPS inside the guest. So the uh, diagram in the left, uh, the yellow part is uh, the co the our cost used for the different solutions. The first one is the Kimu in inbox virtual driver, and the next one is the vhost kernel solution, and the right part is SP vhost user uh, solution. You can see that the way SP vhost user solution will just use one CPU core. And the right part is, uh, is the performance we can get. Um, compared with the vhost kernel solution, uh, our SP vhost use solution can achieve over two times of the OPS, uh, which only used one CPU call. Uh, with several years of development, or development of SPDK. SPDK already has uh, plenty of modules and the functionalities. Uh, uh, several modules can get composed to support the container style storage. Uh, we have different uh, ingredients. Uh, in the lower part is the, is the driver part and then on the drive part, we put uh, some components such as uh, block device module. And also we have some integration into the existing ecosystem such as we have send the plugin uh, to OpenStack and we can integrate uh, the USB blob FS into the Rooks DB and also we have self integration. And uh, for the uh, container part, we have uh, we host the user solution. Uh, so for the we host the user solution, uh, let's see uh, how to use the block device uh, in the cut container uh, scenario. Uh, at the beginning, when a kernel-based block device is assigned to the Carta containers, uh, we want to add the device, the block device into containers such as uh, the, the destination path is dev sda by the Docker command. Uh, the steps are, uh, first we, uh, we, mu we must have one block device in the kernel and uh, we pass it in, this block device in the dark command and the dark will code it inside the JSON configuration file and then cut runtime will paste this container JSON file and instruct the, the hypervisor to add this uh, block device inside the container VM. The hypervisor will transform the block device to a virtualized block device into the container. So this is the OCI specification when create the device. Uh, the block and the, the, the block device is consistent with the major and the minor uh, 
uh, block uh, uh, block numbers. So uh, here the major eight and the minor zero means it's a host device you can you can list in the uh, LS device to see the major and the minor uh, device node. But uh, it is cannot work for SPD we host the euro solution because we will use the socket domain socket as a, a representative. So here we have some code that makes this happen. Uh, make this can be used uh, with the uh, cut cleaners. Uh, currently, we cover this limitation by using the make node to break through the device limitation in the OCS specification. First, we'll create uh, a, a fake node file for each host user storage device and each node file will corresponding to the vehicle user device that passed in the doc command. Um, still doc will code it inside the JSON configuration file and Kata runtime will paste this cleaner uh, JSON configur uh, configuration file and uh, last the Kata runtime will instruct its hypervisor to add the vehicle user storage device into the container VM. And the uh, vehicle's target will transform the storage device to be a virtualized block device into the container. So now you can use use a similar uh, mechanism to have the block device in your container. And the service is served by SP vehicle's target. So when when considering building container storage infrastructure on SPDK, we have several steps to take. At the start, the most, most, the most straightforward step is to providing storage volume from SPDK we host by Docker command. In Docker run command, parameter dash device can add a host device to the container. For example, dash device SDC to dash device VDC. Uh, the steps to add a SPDK device to containers. Generally, it has uh, these steps. First one is create SPDK various speed dials inside the SPDK, and then we will create a corresponding warehouse block device uh, from our SPDK. Then we will create a node file for each warehouse block device. When running Docker, we will add a parameter dash device to assign the node file to the destination path inside the Docker. Generally, these, these steps are not very brief. So we would like to use SPTK Docker volume plugin to simplify, to simplify the operations. Since data volumes persist data independent of a container's life cycle, the life cycle of Docker of data volume is controlled by a container orchestrator or admin directly. For example, Docker has a set of Docker volume command to manage in data volumes. A data volume is a, is a specially designated directory then to bypass storage driver management. Here we can use the SPDK Docker volume plugin. The first one is to create SPDK BDL, BDL pool inside SPDK. Then we can use Docker volume command site to create, delete, the, and uh, improve the Docker volume. Then we can run Docker with parameter touch volume to assign the block volumes into Docker, uh, into Docker container. Then the next uh, container service from the infrastructure we considered is the image and the root files. Since SPDK logical volume provides basic functionality, functionality is to meet the container root, F, root FS requirement. For example, SPDK logical volume have these features. The first one is the simple reasoning. 
snapshots and clone decoupling inflation. So SBDK logical volume can work in a same manner with the kernel LVM or device mapper. Uh, how SBDK application components operate for image and root FS. So we can uh, show you in the diagram first is to download the container image. We will, uh, in the host, we would, uh, we need to download the a image from the image registry to the local host. And we would like to create a scene provision the BDAO from logical volume and export it uh, to the host by Linux NBD. Uh, then we can unpack in the image file into the scene BDAO through NBD. After the scene BDAO is prepared with the image, we would like to clone the BDAO as preparation root FS for container one. During some running time of container one, we would like to commit the container one's content as a second image. Then we would do a snapshot inside the logical volume. When we would like to run in container two on top of the image two, we can do a clone operation inside the log logical volume and uh, take it as the preparation root FS for container two. So based on this imagination, we doing the root FS service pass bonding on container D. Container D is a mediator between orchestrator and a runtime engine. It abstracts a snapshot for different storage, storage driver like overlay FS, DS mapper, driver, AUFS. Here we in implemented a SPDK storage driver under a snapshotter. With the SPDK storage driver, it works similar with kernel device mapper storage driver. It bypasses kernel host kernel storage stack when providing root FS for running containers. Here we have a link for evaluation. Okay, let me give a summary of this presentation. And uh, currently, uh, the first is the progress we've made. Uh, the first one is we host the user block solution. It is enabled and upstreamed to the Kata container community. And uh, the, the second one is uh, SDK talk volume plugin to uh, this PUC code is ready for demo. And you can download the this load from the the link we, we, we provided in this presentation. The third one is uh, integrate SPDK into the container D. Uh, for this one, the PUC code is also ready uh, for demo. And the last one is some uh, SPDK internal improvement. It's a continuous progress. We will still to improve the Elvor or some other modules inside the SPDK. Of course, there's some limitations. Uh, first is uh, whose the user storage volume is uh, not, it isn't a directory based. So the, M, the second one is empty and ephemeral uh, storage haven't been supported yet. Uh, the third one is this is a totally PUC code based, so not fully func functional validated for now. We lack of some large scale verification for the features we provided. Uh, the last one is it's not ready for uh, the seal, uh, like uh, the Kubernetes. Uh, at last, we would like to implement a complete a complete storage infrastructure for the container security containers. Uh, that, that's that's our expectation for the future development. Uh, that's all.